I watched the fires burn all night. Smoke blocking out the stars. Water hissing as the hull of my old ship blackened around his body. Dowd, gone at last. How many tried to kill you and came no closer than I did all those years ago? How much coin was on your head, old man? Now no one but the Void can collect. For years, I imagined the Outsider offering me his mark. Instead, he's given me the knife that made him. A weapon that can surely unmake him as well. I can't begin to understand his motives, but I know what Dowd wanted. And if he's got to wander the void forever, maybe I can give him some measure of peace by ending this. As the dreadful wail burned to cinders, did the outsider laugh or just watch? Same as me. It's as fine a pyre as I could make. Farewell, Dowd. I'll finish what you started. I had that ship for years, and it burned away in hours. I'll finish what you started, Dowd. The information I need it could be in the archive, I've stabbed in the conservatory basement, or in the curator's office. It'll be full of Abby zealots either way. We plan jobs just like the bank. day's work, brother. We need only record the heretical text we burned today, and our task is complete. Now, where's that ledger? Here, on the bench. But don't worry. I already noted all of the burned books. We should see if Sister Rose would need the hand, though. She discovered... There's nothing I can save from that fire. It's all ashes. I need to check that ledger and see if what I want is still here. Bizarre cures for impotence. I tell you, I've seen enough... Take one mandrake root recipes to last a lifetime. No, this was different. Sister Rosewind saw the archive's hiding place in a vision. She seemed deeply disturbed by what was in it, from what Brother Diaz told me. He heard her whisper, this could destroy the Abbey. Sister what? Rosewind is keeping documents in the curator's office. I need to find them. What's going on? What the- Hey, you- <sighs> oh, natural! need supplies. See many customers coming in from that district anymore. It's all yours. Enjoy. You're armed to the teeth.
As soon as I save enough coin, I'm retiring to Calero. A peaceful old age of brandy and cigars. That's what I want. Nice doing business with you. Observatory visitors used to be my best customers. Such exotic items they asked for. Now it's all weapons and trinkets. Be careful out there. The streets are closed on Abbey orders. All the charms, his rooms, and fetid offerings of our shrines and we can Nothing more than objects of living and Bones of dead things are going to die. He traveled to Calero later today. His mission here must be concluded then. For such an urgent task, he made short work of it. So it would be. saw her crawl out of that open hatch in the courtyard. I believe there is now only one witch left alive in the cellar holding chamber. Our therapy has thinned their numbers. Have you searched this one's corpse? Not yet. Brother Cardoza will want to examine it personally. Her death will serve the Abbey better than her wicked life ever could. Very true, brother. We must send someone to inspect that vent. We don't want another desperate rat creeping through the pipes. Some confessed outright. Others denied wrongdoing until confronted with their heresy. Trenches of marked bone, and hair, and teeth, pages filled with cult markings, and then the tears. They were scrambling to testify against one another by the end. They hoped betraying their sisters would compel us to mercy, but they were all found guilty naturally. We could barely hear the sentencing Anyone over their here? wails. Show I am yourself. sorry to have missed it. Once sat in Brother Cardoza's face and said she would never confess. <laughs> Did she? No. <laughs> we cut out her tongue. <laughs>
Who is... I'll cure the world from the likes of you. For the Abbey. Accept your... Heard one of our blind sisters before, Brother Cirillo? It is very rare indeed for them to journey beyond their chapel. I only saw them once before during the Feast of Painted Petals by the end of Dunwall's Rat Plague. I. No, <coughs> I have not. This is the first time. If I may ask, Brother, why are they here with us? Surely we can manage these heretics ourselves. <laughs> Let him go! Looking for a fight? Hey, you! This area's I'm off limits! This can't be! He's here! Clear the line! Oh. Ah. Come at me, then! I'll... The Where strictures! No way this is a cure. Now, now, no tears. You know how important these sessions are for finding a cure. Tonight, I'm going to play the music in short intervals. I remember these back in Dunwall. When it played, it was like knives sliding over your skin. Relax. Let me adjust the straps a bit so you can turn your head. I know these chairs aren't the most comfortable. No flesh, no grains, Mom. Happy days, Ray. Quiet mist. Hungry cries. Hollow bellies. Cheeky lips. The music. We came here together, my love. And now they peer into your corpse. Mom, let me wipe that blood from your mouth. There. Now tell me, where does it hurt when I play the music? Behind your eyes? In your stomach? Come now. Answer a simple question. What do we do?
A Pandisian bestiary. Mm -hmm. The untold mystery of big houses, fine. A compendium of domestic solutions. These hold no value Someone for the there. Abbey. You're not supposed to be here. Hello? No mercy. Step back. I know an agent of the outsider when I see one. You have something I need, Sister Rosewyn. I'd tell you to get ready, but maybe you've already seen me coming. Brothers and sisters, if the outsider visits you, remember three things. Ignore his words, don't look him in the eye, and never, ever accept his gifts. What? The window. Maybe the wind or something. Kill them first. Kill them for the pieces of me they tore away. If they turn their eyes on me again, I am dead. hands. She should be burned in the street with the rest of the filth. We will study the sinister device in full once we have laid our fallen sisters to rest.
Who's there? Or something. wrong. By the strictures. Isn't she the woman on the posters? Uh, what? What, what? Did you hear that? Let's have a look. What? Hey, you! Come here! will want a thorough inventory. Who is... Let it go! No!
What are they looking for? That they'd love to cut me open too. Cause of death is undetermined, but Brother Wells saw her collapse during musical therapy, convulsing and screaming. Which heretical organ inside her waste and pale flesh rejected music? Initial examination showed no rigor. Lividity was at a minimum and unfixed. Hmm. can take a look at this with a silver graph projector. If the oracular order really can see the future, then this silver graph plate will tell me what I need to know. here. There shouldn't be anything on this part of the mountain. Shindere North Quarry. That's where the Eyeless are getting into the void. I should keep the silver graph plate with me.
This time I'll get What? Somebody's down. You're not supposed to be here. You aren't going in, brother! She's bleeding! Finish her! Die! Creature of the... Ah! Hey, over here! What do you want? It's my Lonnie. He went into that building with the red poster over there. Said he wanted to check for something real quick like and that. The void tests mysteries and craves answers. But all it gives is a form to the world's fears. A hole in the world. found this letter with him. Thought you might want it. Oh, no. Lonnie. Thank you. Here, take this for your trouble. Thanks, but I'm good. You keep that. Some wages for a bottle of whiskey. Maybe try my luck at dice. There's a darkness at the center of all things. It'll change you if you think about it too much, but it's always there. It waits for you. When I was in hiding, I tried to forget everything that I was. Now I aim to keep my promise to a dead man, someone who meant the world to me. Sometimes I still hear Dowd's voice echoing through the metal of this miserable knife. This is the strangest, most important thing I've been through, and that's saying a lot. There's a mining complex on Shindere Peak, somehow so obscure that most people don't believe it exists. That mad cult lives there, protecting the one place that can bring me face to face with the outsider himself. Years ago, I heard Dowd talking about the void, a fear that grips your throat, bends your spine, but I can't turn away now. What will we have left if the outsider's gone? His name might be lost to the void, but tonight, I'll find out if he can still bleed. 